Today, we are on the lookout for the best keto snacks. We have found a mystery box of snacks, which we're gonna open up, have a look at the macros, ingredients, and importantly, the taste. Yeah, that's right. So this is a mystery. So this could be <laughs> a really good discovery, a really big win, or this could be a real disaster. So let's find out. Let's go. Welcome to Pop Keto, where we aim to help you live a sustainable keto and low carb lifestyle. So if you have been doing keto for any length of time, you will know how hard it is to yeah. find a good keto snack yes. that is uh, got good <laughs> ingredients and fits your macros. So hopefully in today's box, of mystery keto snacks. Hopefully we do find some gems. So I was looking for keto products on Amazon and I found this. This is a mystery box of keto snacks. Uh, it's called Ketomic. This is not a paid review or anything like that. We just bought it to find out what's in it. Quick bit of the description just says keto snack box up to eight delicious keto friendly snacks. We don't know what's in it. Shall we have a look? Yes, let's have a look. Now before we get into it, obviously today we are talking about snacks. What is your favorite keto snack that you've found? Pop something in the comments and let us know. We'd love to hear from you. All right, so let's open what's this inside? up. I have a, uh, <laughs> I looked for a knife and all I found was a scalpel. Um, don't ask. What's inside? Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. We've been looking at these online. And so there's a couple of things here that are actually quite interesting. That's the box inside. I'm going to, I'm going to get up and give them a big close up. Hang on. I'm actually kind of excited about this because there's a couple of things in here that I've seen and I've wanted to try and didn't want to buy a whole, you know, dozen of them or whatever. So this is kind of cool. And there's a couple of brands I recognize. So where do you want to start? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to these boost balls. All right, so these are Keto Choc Mint boost balls with the lovely noisy packaging. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick look at the ingredients. Cow butter, cream coconut, toasted coconut, skated coconut. Peanut butter. That's not bad. Rice protein. The brown rice protein. Tapioca fiber. Erythritol. That's okay. Yeah. Coconut flour. On the most part, this actually looks pretty clean. Uh, nutritional information. So per, let's do per 100 gram. That way we, we keep it all pretty standard. Per 100 grams, we're looking at carbs of 16.4, of which sugars are 13, sorry, 3.9. Fats are 55.9. So that's a good number there. Fiber. Protein of 14.2. So this is UK, so that fiber's already been taken out of those net carbs before. Yep. They seem okay macro-wise. 14 grams per... Sorry, the, the carbs of 16 grams per 100 might be a bit high. Mm. But given that this pack is 40 grams and a serving size is 10 grams... So having a quarter of the pack. All right, let's give them a try. Okay, so there are four balls in here. So one ball is yep. a portion Yeah, okay, that size. makes it easy, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, taste test. They look good. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. So we've got that minty. Mm. Definitely quite minty. I feel like mint. Yeah. And it's got the crunch in there of, is it the uh, peanut? I think like you've got coconut in there as well. So that's part of the crunch. I think the, 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 They're quite the mint, minty. yeah, the mint really overpowers. I almost can't taste the chocolate. Mm. It's really all the mint. Mm. But that said, I didn't have a problem finishing it. <laughs> so that's not bad. So if you were out and about and you saw these, would you grab them? So for me, I'm a chocolate person. I mm. love chocolate. And I feel like even though it's mint chocolate chip, I felt like it was more mint. Mm. I'd agree with that. And I don't I'm think not... it balances with the chocolate as well. Yeah. I'm not a massive choc mint person. Um, and so that is quite minty for me. Almost no choc. If you're a vegan though, maybe that might be for you because these are also marked vegan. So that's the first one. All right, next let's hit on these fat bars. Now, I think I've seen these at Whole Foods before. Okay. So this is the coconut macadamia one, and this has got a few ingredients that I can't pronounce. Ah, <laughs> that's German. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, ingredients, chicory extracts, uh, desiccated coconut, macadamias, almonds, water, sunflower seeds, inulin, almond oil. Um, that's pretty much so it. So we've got lots of nuts and seeds in there. Yeah, Yeah. that's good. Uh, nutrition per 100. So we're looking at carbs of 11 grams per 100 and fats of 38 grams yep yep so we're looking at higher fat looking at lower carb yep not too Looks bad good this one's a, a caramel and sea salt this is the one i'm looking forward to trying actually so ingredients are 
pretty similar there um, other than there's flavoring for the caramel bits um, and then per 100 grams 37 grams of fat and 6.7 grams of carbs great let's give them a try bit of work getting into this one <laughs> <laughs> in the... right, i think this is one of the tail no yeah oh yeah carrot so i've got the macadamia one i think i'm gonna have to bite this one because this one so i have the caramel and sea salt it's really chewy mm. but i really like that actually so having the, the coconut macadamia one, it really like it really does taste like coconut and macadamias, yeah. and I like macadamias and yeah. coconut. So yeah. I actually quite enjoy that. Awesome. You try some. Yeah, absolutely. Let's switch. Mmm. Yeah, coconut macadamia, very much so, and it's a good balance of sweet. It's not over the top, but it's got the. I think it's just the right balance. Yeah. Mm. You might think this is strange, but I think this actually has a little bit of a coffeeness to the flavour of it. So that's the caramel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is the, the caramel one. It's almost got a little bit of a coffee notes to it, I reckon. Mm. But both of them, nice texture. Yeah. Generally nice tasting, actually. Mm. I'd, I'd get them. And even the aftertaste, I feel like, is actually nice. All right, so we're moving on to the Adonis bars. I have the vanilla and coconut. And I have the pecan, hazelnut and cocoa. So ingredients in this one, almonds, coconut, chicory root, uh, sweetener is erythritol, Good. cashews, Good. chia seeds, vanilla, acai berry powder, cocoa butter, mosfa uh, is sunflower, lecithin, sea salt. That's generally all right. Yeah, it's not too yeah. bad actually. Yeah. So per 100 grams, you're looking at 40 grams of fats and 19.3 grams of carbs. That is, that's actually pretty high it's actually. pretty high. But, I, mm. but this is a 35 gram bar. Yep, okay, yep. That makes sense. So one bar then. So, so in terms of the actual serving size? For a full serving, you're looking at 14.2 grams of carbs and 6.8 grams of fat. So just looking at the macros on the pecan, hazelnut and cocoa bar, it actually does have slightly higher fats and there's a little bit more low carbs. So this one could be a little bit of a better option. Yeah, but not by much. Only a couple Only of grams. Only just by a little bit, yeah. But we are here for the experiment, so let's try these <laughs> let's out. Let's taste. Yep. They're crumbly, but good crumbly. Hmm. This is actually quite nice. Hmm. Yeah, I know my one. It, it's obviously pecan and hazelnut predominantly, so that that nuttiness is there. Hmm. But the cocoa's there as well. It's not a strong chocolate flavour, but it's still quite nice. Um, aftertaste is is fine. It's 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 good. Um, and I think one serving, I feel like, would be quite satisfying yeah. actually. All right, so we switched. I am tasting the pecan one now. And I'm vanilla coconut. I think I like that one better. I like the pecan, hazelnut, and cocoa. Hmm. This is vanilla, but it's not very... It's not, it's not huge, super vanilla. It's it? not hugely vanilla. It's actually quite just a middle-of-the-road flavour, really. Hmm. All right, so I've just noticed something here. So this one that I thought was 5.7 grams net carbs mm. um, is advertised as 2 grams net carbs. So I'm having another look, and it looks like they've broken out the polyols and deducted that from the net carbs. Given that it's erythritol, mm. that's actually not a bad thing. Yeah. We would do the same if we were calculating it. So if that is two grams of net carbs, that's actually not bad. No, that's, that's not bad at all. So which one did you like out of the two? Um, I like them I like them both. I think I think because I tested the vanilla one first, it was more vanilla mm. vanilla for me. <laughs> this is definitely a stronger flavor, this one. Yeah. So I feel like if you had this one first and then the vanilla one, you'd taste more of this one. Yeah, for sure. But I would buy them again. I like the texture, mm, I like the yeah. taste. All right, so we're moving on to the Polson bars here. So yeah. there is an orange chalk and peanut version, which I've got. And I have the chalk fudge and peanut. Quick look at the ingredients. I'm just gonna scan through it rather than going through it all. Okay, so they use xylitol as a sweetener here. Mm. Now xylitol is one of our preferred sweeteners at home if we're having just a little bit. Like if we're having a cup of tea, little bit of we'll put a little yeah. bit of xylitol in there yes uh, but when we bake and cook we try to use erythritol yeah uh, as our main one there so the reason for that being is that we don't add back xylitol when we're calculating net carbs yeah. erythritol we, we're happy to xylitol not so much mm. so that makes the nutritional info i'm, I'm just going to go straight to per bar uh, we're looking at 16 grams of fat and 8.5 grams of carbs 
Yep, and that's pretty much the same for this one. It's 8.6. Yeah. Now they have noted that there is that four and a half grams of polyols, which mm. is the xylitol. Yeah. So if your calculations include that, that's up to you to break out, I guess. But I'm a big fan of chocolate and orange, so let's get into it. All right, so I'm trying the chocolate fudge and peanut. It smells good. Mmm. I really like that. That is really yum. Mmm. I'm ready to eat the whole thing. So far, this one is my favorite. I really love chocolate orange, you know, the ones that you get at Christmas time. And so this <laughs> very much reminds me of that. Um, but it's got the, the nuts in there as well, which adds mm. some texture. It's actually really quite nice. You can nice. see. So that's got a nice texture, nice crunch in the bar. So now I'm trying the orange choc and peanut. Unlike you, I'm not the hugest orange choc fan. Mm. It's fine. It's not my go-to. But yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah. So I actually like the choc fudge one as well. I actually think I do prefer the orange one, but mm -hmm. the eight and, a half, eight and a half grams of carbs per bar mm -hmm. for a day. Again, if you're looking at 20 grams net carbs per day and you're trying to lose weight on keto, it's probably going to be hard for you to fit that into your diet. If you're a bit more relaxed on how many carbs you're having, mm. you might be able to find a way to fit that in. Yeah. Okay, so we're up to our last one. And this is actually one that I've been really excited to try. Actually, this is a Keto Keto bar and it is Cherry Bakewell flavored. We've actually been to Bakewell and we've had a Bakewell tart in Bakewell, but that was before we were keto. So <laughs> it's gotta be a way to keto by them. Anyway, so quick look at the ingredients. We're looking at almonds, cashews, erythritol is the sweetener. Good, good. A lot of nuts, a bit of xanthan in there, arrowroot powder. Ingredients are actually not too bad on this one. Okay, hey, good. So then for the bar, we're looking at 25.75 grams of fats, 8.35 grams of carbs. Now they advertise it as being less than three grams net carbs. And I'm guessing that is because they use so erythritol. erythritol as their sweetener. So they're taking yeah. that into account, which is fair enough. The reason I'm interested in tasting is because I've seen them around a bit and I did see that they have a calculation on their on their inclusion of their polyols. It's not fully included, it's not fully deducted. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was, um, but you're welcome to go have a look for it. Um, so they advertise as being less than three grams net carbs. And I, I think okay. that's about right yeah. from, from what we're reading. Yeah, all right. So that actually looks like a really decent size bar. There's, It's quite thick and uh, yeah, looking forward to trying this one. All right, taste test. Taste. Mm. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> that is really, really good. Mm. That almost feels like you're having a slice that's not actually keto, mm. <laughs> to be honest. It tastes like Cherry Bakewell as well. For, yeah. you know, like, so it's got Cherry Bakewell, so usually got like an almondy bit in them and the cherryness to yeah. it, and that tastes all like that. That is brilliant. If you're having a hot drink, like a coffee or a mm. tea, this is the perfect slice, I would say. If you're not baking something, if you want something that's ready-made, this is perfect. Yeah. I think we're just going to eat the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> so these are 100% vegan as well, according to the label. So if you're if you are vegan and doing keto, that's a plus for you as well. Mm. No added sugar, 26 grams carbs, less than three grams. Mm, sorry, mm, mm. 26, 26 <laughs> grams of fat, less than three grams carbs. So um, we're going to finish up now. No, we're not really. <laughs> we're just going to eat the rest really of this. <laughs> I think it's easy to say which what one is our favourite now. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad we left that to the end, actually. That was just... That was yum. Yeah, that's really good. So part of what we were going to say at the end was like, oh, what one's best, which one's not? Um, there is one clear winner in this, and that yeah. is the Keto Keto Cherry Bakewell Bar. Absolutely. Before that, for me, it was the Adonis Nut Bars. Yeah, I would agree with that too. Um, both for carbs, ingredients, and taste, which is more than one, so it's probably more than both. But anyway... And least favourite. Least favourite? Okay, I've got to say the mint choc chip. The mint is still minting like yeah. now, even after tasting all the rest of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. The mint was just way overpowering. Uh, I mean, if you love mint, then you yeah, will be in heaven. You'll love it. But, and I do like mint, but I do like that balance. And I didn't feel like uh, that balance was there. It was a bit too overpowering. So we hope that this has been helpful for you guys in terms of learning how to work out what snacks 
are good and which ones may not be the best decision at the time. Again, it's good to experiment as well. So just seeing what's out there, but yeah. just learning to read your ingredients, looking at your macros and just making sure that it does line up with your macro goals. And something that just really tastes great that you enjoy. Hope that's been helpful for you guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know if you've got any other thoughts in the comments. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. See you bye. next time, bye.